thought we'd have a look and see what's inside this uh, Science Museum uh, floating globe. Um, it works on the um, electromagnetic um, levitation. The uh, ball itself and the globe, it's got a uh, magnet um, at the uh, top. And then obviously um, at the top here, uh, what we will have is a coiled uh, coil of wire which is generating a magnetic field. Um, and then you get the balance about right and then the uh, the globe floats in the middle. Um, obviously if you want more information on how these sort of things work then um, obviously look it up on wiki or something. Um, there's plenty of other videos out there um, on YouTube that do explain um, in more detail um, exactly how this um, these principle works. So anyway let's have a look and see um, what's inside. Uh, just unplug it. The um, power adapter itself yeah, that's uh, rated an output of 12 volts at um, 1 amp. And here's the unit. Power plugs in at the bottom there. Uh, sorry about the camera, it doesn't focus brilliantly. I brought a um, a Toshiba um, video camera. Um, it's quite cheap. And whereas the video quality is reasonably okay, the audio quality is absolutely shocking. Um, you really just can't hear anything but hiss half the time. Um, unfortunately, I brought it from Argos and it was under a um, exempt from 30 day return. So um, basically I can't return it to them unless it's 40, um, which it's not. Um, it's just obviously a very poor quality camera. Um, so at the moment I'm having to use my Samsung um, digital camera which is the WB150F which the audio does seem fairly good but the um, the video quality is not quite perfect but you know I need to save up and obviously uh, look into uh, getting a much better camera so basically we got this uh, plastic diffuser here let me get that out I have taken this apart once before and I did actually end up breaking the diffuser um, when I did it so hence it's been uh, super glued Pretty badly. <laughs> it's there. Okay, let's look inside. We've got a main circuit board down there. Uh, we'll have to take a deeper look at that. Now the LEDs here, what they've done is they've also put masking tape over them. Um, and I'm not quite sure why, because it obviously it doesn't need it to hold it in. So all I can imagine is that they needed a bit more. They need to diffuse it a bit more than just the diffuser plastic plate. So we've got wires up here. Again, the coil generating the magnetic field up there. Um, this plate that's above it really doesn't want to come out, so can't really do much about that. Um, what they've done with this board down here is they've put it in with loads of hot glue. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the heat gun out, see if I can melt some of that glue, and see if I can get that board out. Okay, got the board out. Heat gun did the trick. So let's have a look. Now what we've got, we've got a... Um, I believe is an MPN um, power transistor. This one here. Get my pointy thing and make it easier. Power transistor here. Got a trim pot, um, which I believe um, makes some adjustments to the magnetic field um, and depends on the, sort of where the um, where you get the right adjustment to get the, the uh, globe to actually float. Um, I might have a play around with that and see if it makes any difference. Um, but obviously don't want to uh, mess it up completely. Um, the power from the um, power supply actually comes in this point here. Um, what's interesting, I believe, um, looking at it, that this one here is what is doing controlling the LEDs, um, it's the output. Um, over here, I think this is one's going to transformer. Seems weird that the LED wires um, inside the unit um, actually, um, which I believe is these two here, as well as you've got this bunch here that go into the uh, coil there. I think these ones, um, um, for some reason, run up behind here as well. So I don't know quite why they're doing that, unless they're just terminated up behind there. Um, I don't know quite what they've done, um, but as I can't get that bit out, then I can't really um, investigate any further on that one. What we've got here as well. Um, so we've got 25 volt, uh, it's 470 microfarad capacitor, there's a diode tucked in between there, 
You can see it down there, it's dyed there. And um, we've got a, a small, I uh, believe it to be a voltage regulator, um, tucked up in there. Let's turn it over and have a look what's underneath. Uh, lots of passives. Now this chip here, um, I tried trying to read that but I can't quite read what's on it. Um, and unfortunately as the camera is not very good at magnification on that, um, there's not much I can do. This one here is a NE555 um, timer. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all there is to that board. Obviously once again I apologise um, for the um, you know, quality of the video and obviously the audio not being absolutely perfect. Um, I will try and obviously uh, get together the money to get a much better camera um, so I can make some slightly better videos. Um, so anyway, yeah, that was just a quick look um, what's inside this uh, Science Museum floating globe. Uh, now time to put it back together again. Alright, thanks for watching. Cheers guys.